Good evening, Phillies and Gentle Colts. My name is Josh Bancroft. And I'm here to talk to you tonight about my love for My Little Pony. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is a cartoon, a television show that you can watch in lots of different places. It's really, really good. You should check it out. But that's not going to be the thrust of my topic tonight. What I want to talk about is the phenomenon of bronyism, adult fans of this show seemingly made for six-year-old children. What's up with that? My Little Pony Friendship is Magic features a cast of six main characters, the main six, M-A-N-E, get it? That have various adventures and topics. Uh, the, the, story, the plot revolves around friendship and different things, but it's really well written, it's well animated, it's not insufferable drivel. It's really good. It was created by Lauren Faust, seen here in her God Empress form, who has a pedigree that has, uh, she's created such things as Powerpuff Girls, she's been involved in, Foster's Home for Imaginary Children. She is uh, really good at what she does. But that's about the show. Bronies are a unique uh, tribe. And I'm interested in them from uh, almost an anthropological perspective. I love different fandoms and different communities on the internet. I always have. And so when I heard about My Little Pony and Bronies, I had to immerse myself in bronyism and find out what it was up with it. One of the first things I found was that it gave me something to relate to my children with. It was really fun to watch shows with them, to listen to the songs in the car, and to uh, just kind of have that shared experience with them. But not only with my children, with other people in the world. There are lots of people that you find that will sometimes proudly and sometimes maybe bashfully admit that they like the show and that they've watched the show. Lots of ink has been spilled trying to figure out how uh, and why and what and, and everything, but it, it doesn't matter. It's just cool. Just, just go with it. So I want to spend most of the rest of my talk talking about the cool creativity that is found in the Brony community. These people are amazing, and the stuff that they come up with is really, really cool. If you go on DeviantArt and search for My Little Pony, you will see some really, really cool fan art. You can commission your own. I wanted to have a pony like of myself made for the show, but I, I didn't have time to get it done. Um, there's lots of crossovers that happen. Um, the people who are fans of My Little Pony, people who are bronies, are probably fans of the same kind of stuff you are. They like to play games, they like to watch TV shows, they're Firefly fans, et cetera, et cetera. Not all of them, but they're just normal folks. Yeah, see? Um, there's a lot of interesting reactions to people who uh, embrace bronyism, and you, know, you put a little toy pony on your desk at work, and all of a sudden you get funny looks and lots of questions. But Really, the, the, the hate and the reaction to the hate in the community is something that uh, they, they, in the spirit of the show, they love and they tolerate and they uh, respond to it in a great way. The characters of the show, I actually, thinking about it, should have moved this earlier in the slide uh, uh, presentation. The, the personalities of the, the characters are really well written and they sort of show through when they're humanized. And of course, as with any uh, fandom, there is cosplay. There is good cosplay and bad cosplay, both pictured here on this slide. <laughs> Um, there's great music to be found, not only written for the show and in the, the music that appears in the show, uh, that's Daniel Ingram, who is created and responsible for a lot of the music in the show, but the fan community has created some great stuff as well. If you like techno dubstep kind of music, go Google Balloon Party and download 45 really cool songs and check them out. There's also a lot of craftiness and creativity to be found in the pony, uh, brony community. Um, not only on DeviantArt, but if you go on Etsy and search for My Little Pony, you'll find all sorts of things including My Little Cephalopod and uh, Rainbow Dash Shoes. Um, I do not own any one of those items. I would like to own all of those items. And of course, being the internet, there is Rule 34. We're not going to talk about it, but if you really want to find out what's going on, go look for uh, clopping and people who watch the show for the plot. Bronies are a real force for good. They uh, tend to get involved in these online competitions with other online communities to see who can out-charity each other. Uh, they get involved with the, the Minecraft fans, they get involved with their own fundraisers, they raise tens of thousands of dollars for charities and other good causes, and they congregate in different places online, including the Brony Meetup Group. We have one here in Portland. They're up there in the, the balcony, most of them. <laughs> raise your hoof if you're a Brony. They get together and they do fun stuff like come to Ignite Portland. So after all of this, after all of this, 
have I convinced you to try My Little Pony, to like My Little Pony, to not hate ponies? That wasn't my point. I wanted to tell you about why I like it. I hope you go and find it interesting and, and try it. But if you don't, then go to the thing that you love and, and be proud of it too. So thank you, every pony, for listening to my talk. My name is Josh Bancroft, and uh, I love My Little Pony. <laughs>